Hello everyone and welcome back to Hades. <laughs> oh no, no, welcome back to the walkthrough. But it'll feel like Hades because minecart carnage is a tricky one. So best of luck on this stinker. Alright, so basically you jump with the whole cart and you have no control over your speed. So it feels rather clunky because you're a pretty large target and you've got to dodge some stuff and get over gaps and stuff like that. And it's, it's going to be an uphill battle, let me just put it that way. <laughs> well, the first section of this isn't really that bad. It's just sort of kind of getting you into it. Ooh! But uh, the second half, that's where things get uh, pretty dicey and that was that was safe to fall. All right. Now this is the point we gotta avoid down the mine carts because if you crash into them you'll take one monkey's worth of damage and be very careful not to under or over jump stuff because that could be a problem. Get this one up here just in case you have to ooh, redo the level. <laughs> just gonna kind of focus all of my energy on looking ahead. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I hate the speed ups and slowdowns, dang it! Mm. Yeah, okay, I just need to not take a hit ever <laughs> for the rest of the level. That seems doable! Ooh! <laughs> it is possible, but it's uh, not something that fills me with confidence. Alright, almost there. Almost there! <laughs> Get ready for a duder! Yeah! I can't believe I did it! <laughs> No bonus areas or anything there, so... <sighs> I'm done! Never again. Never again. Okay, I'm gonna play through this game again in the future. Bouncy Banana... I mean, Bouncy Bonanza is next. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be a little more conservative with my barrels here, because I do believe that I will need them for something around here, maybe? Um, hold on. <laughs> i just like to grab that barrel. I think it's somewhere along that wall, but we'll see in just a second. Uh, I want kind of want that tire there. <laughs> well, hmm, I guess I could do grab this, because otherwise if I leave it behind, it'll despawn, and yes. There we go. I don't remember what I need this for, if I actually need this for some... Oh! It despawned. Well, <laughs> let's see what I actually may or may not need it for. Let's just take a peek see, because, you know, you can't really push the tire past a certain point or something like that, so it might just be there to teach you about it or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I think the business bonus area... Yes, there is. <laughs> it's somewhere in there. Uh, let's see if I can get myself uh, one up. Ooh, all right, watch it carefully. Yeah, there we go. Woohoo! I can't see how many lives I have, but I know I increased it by one. <laughs> I always found it kind of funny that the foreground objects really, really, truly go in front of everything, including the on-screen display. Whoop! No bouncies. <laughs> I just want to see what I missed here. Uh, careful, careful. Uh, this was where I was. Yeah, that was where the bonus area was, so we can move on now. Hopefully, without any iron. <laughs> Just carefully roam around here and push this to get the checkpoint, I do believe. Yeah, it's up there. There we go. And now, I do believe you can get something if you take the tire up top. I could be wrong, though. Uh, yeah, little secret thing. It's a little N over here. And then, oh, and if you jump, I was going to say jump down a shaft, I believe there is a hole, here it is. Yep, and this is leads to another bonus area with Winky, which makes it quite easy to get to the last bonus area if you manage to keep Winky all the way. Uh, oh, well that, that didn't work out. I just wanted to see what I was missing here. Probably not much. Woo! Uh, there's a lot of danger, a lot of bouncy things, leads in a chain, and oh, oh okay, just respawn, there you go. <laughs> Alright, so that's what we missed, I guess, and I kind of regret losing Winky here, because I'm going to have to do some tire shenanigans if this doesn't, I mean, if I didn't, if I don't have Winky. So, uh, I'm going to wish myself the best of luck here. <laughs> Because you know how finicky those tires are if you've pushed them around and how difficult they are to stop. Um, <laughs> Alright. Okay. 
I don't need that, so I'm not gonna risk anything just to pop the barrel. Oh, shoot, there's two of them. Well, now I can go back and get this. <laughs> it's a good thing I left it, right? All right, all right? Alright, so I just go underneath, let them do- Oh, that actually hits me, wow. Okay. Hmm, I forgot about that. <laughs> okay. Alright, now this is the tire shenanigan I was talking about here. You gotta weave it between some bees. Well, zingers, you know, zingers are the bees. And we gotta get it on that pla- Well, maybe we don't have to get it on that platform. We just need to reach that uh, barrel up there. That might be enough. Ooh, it is! <laughs> Maybe it isn't so much of a shenanigan as I thought it was. Ooh, ha ha, ooh, ha, ha, yeah, and I'm out of here. <laughs> and exit, exit, exit. Take victory. Buy the gonads and just leave. <laughs> Stop and go station with rock crocs. These are pretty interesting critters, but before I would do the level normally, I'd like to show you something here. Watch this, watch this. Big time shortcut, it takes you all the way to the end of the level, and yeah, these are the rock crocs, they go with the lights, the stop and goes, yeah, that's, that's how they roll. Uh, push this a little forward here, and then you just kind of do this sort of thing, and then you go up here and exit the level. <laughs> but, while that may be the easiest way to beat the level, it's not going to get you a 100%, so... Let's do this level normally now. These are clap traps, and if you do a cartwheel or roll into them thusly, you'll actually be hurt by them because they're teeth. So don't do anything to them thusly. Just kind of jump on them. Yup, yup, yup. They're used in some pretty clever ways later on, but let's not think about that for now. Just focus on the easy use of them right here, right now. But uh, just instinctively don't try and roll into them like you might have a tendency to roll into enemies all over the place. Well, don't do it here. <laughs> There's a secret token over there, and yes, and carefully, carefully continue. <laughs> Just kind of make your way as far as you can, as quick as you can, because those stop and go lights, they kind of are pretty tense. <laughs> Um, cause yeah, cause yeah, if you didn't realize, those rock crocs only go when the barrels say go, and well, you know, that's a limited time offered. <laughs> and yeah, that's what I remember. That's what I remember. Oh shoot, well, oh, oh, that's okay. <laughs> I just want to get that bonus area out of the way there, because things are a dangerous over there. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Well, I could land and Yes, I did. <laughs> I just want to get as many bananas as I can, but I'm having great difficulties with these eight-way barrels. Which is not making me have a lot of confidence for a certain level in World 4, but, uh... It's the first level in World 4, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge if we need to. Uh, did you see that line of uh, bananas that were over there? Did you see that? Oh, I didn't mean to break that barrel. Well, anyway. Uh, yeah, there's a bonus area up there, and... Oh, 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 I have tripled my frog power! Winky bonus stage! <laughs> and it's definitely the bounciest one you will ever find! I'm gonna try and get as many as I can before I go down over to the left side, and the greatest concentration of them are in these little frog cubby holes of sorts, so I'm gonna try and go around and get into those. Uh, but not at all the frog cubby holes, alas. Alas. We're just gonna kinda zigzag my way through here and see what I can get, hopefully, before I get to the super secret upper left area and double my fun. Yeah, I should probably go for it now, I'm running low on time. Now, oh, I forgot to show you this when I was at the other one. Yep, uh, times two will appear over there, wherever there is uh, one of those ginormous token things. And I don't really think the timer goes down faster and it gets down to the nitty gritty, it just feels like it does because it flashes. Because, you know, there's less of a sense of where the number is and whatnot. But there we go, I got quite a life profit there. And I just got pooped out by that tire, so I didn't lose much progress there. And, oh shoot, that could be an issue. <laughs> by the way, the rock crocs will not hurt you until it, they're fully active. It's just a thing of that, you don't know when they're gonna be fully active, like, just off. I mean, I guess you do kinda know, 
because you can tell that they're getting up off the ground, but it's still the whole thing of, oh, it's scary. <laughs> oh, shoot, like that. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to show you another move here. When you're Donkey Kong, and if you hold down and press the Y button, you can slam the ground. That can uncover hidden secrets and stuff like that, but you gotta, ah, you gotta, gotta kinda do that everywhere, and it kinda sucks, so I don't really bother with that for the most part. It does not work on the, um, spots that have, like, markings on the ground or anything like that, and look at that, we made it to the end of the stage. <laughs> Woo! Alright, let's see what Candy has to say over at her save point. <laughs> oh, who cares what she has to say, I'm just here for the stuff, and... Yes, the stuff. All right, fine. Let's see our progress. <laughs> 23%. So with how much time I've used in this walkthrough part, I think... Oh, let's see what Punky has to say. <laughs> let's see how much... Uh, uh, I probably have enough time for this level coming up and the boss. We'll see. We'll see. But that's all you're going to say, really? You disappoint me. You disappoint me. Anyway, Millstone Mayhem is up next. And bonus right off the bat. <laughs> yeah, just one of those go back to dealios. Oh, there's the letter K up at the upper right corner. So I guess I should have shot up the right side, but that's okay. Um, 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 I thought there was like a secret wall, or maybe I'm thinking of another millstone level. Maybe, maybe. Well, here's a secret thing to get to this thing here in the ground. You see that hole there? It uncovers stuff when you bounce on it, similar to those marked spots that you can't slam. And then, then, oh, oh, you can actually go up the slope. Interesting. I was expecting you to turn around there. Mm -hmm. Where am I carrying this t tire to? Well, right here, actually. Oh, jeez! I was gonna say, I almost lost my opportunity there, but that that's another way to do it. Alright, let's spell rare, because that is the publisher that helped make the game. R-A-R-E for a token. Ooh, on guard. We get to see on guard's bonus stage. Go, go, go. Secret wall right off the bat. Oh, this is the second one. I don't know which, one, which numbers are which, but I know that you just want to go in the bottom one last. I'm just going to kind of do a couple loops around here, collecting as many tokens as I can while I work my way clockwise to the bottom one. That's why I started with the left one first. Because, yeah, clockwise. <laughs> and I see the greatest concentration of the on guard token thingies are hanging out over in those secret areas. Otherwise, you gotta go do this Bomberman esque or Pac Man esque type level design here. And where is number three? There it is. <laughs> And the other ones uh, with the multiplier is exactly like that, in exactly the same place but at the bottom, so you know exactly how to enter it. And I'm just gonna do as many as I can be before it gets to that point. Okay, I better go down there. <laughs> there it is! Multiply our tokens! Yeah! Can I get a couple more lives? One more life? Oh, I managed that! <laughs> Got seven lives out of that. Woo! Woo! I say, woo! <laughs> and I'm just racking them up, and that's definitely a good idea to do, because the levels, they're not getting any easier. Oh, Crusha. Uh, these guys will completely resist any and all of Diddy's attacks, but will be killed by Donkey Kong. But there is a version of Crusha later on that resists every attack except for a barrel. Uh, so that's that'll be something interesting. <laughs> Alright, checkpoints, and we're moving on with the groove on, with slippers and slippers, and the secret spots, I didn't mean to drop that, but that is okay. I think I need to drop that anyway to get, yeah, I need to go, well, I don't need to, but it's helpful to show you a secret up here. There's Winky! Woo! Oh yeah, let her in, and I missed the K in that bonus area. But yeah, Winky helps with the zingers, because if I did- Oh, I forgot to mention before I actually come to think of it. They can bounce on zingers and other stuff that you couldn't normally jump on, like those um, nuts that I just bounced off of there. Oh! -ho -ho! <laughs> and I better not stay in there for too long. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that is a dangerous spot, because those snakes bounce you right up into it. Uh, yeah, thank you, Winky. 
And oh, oh boy, that might be troublesome to get past. Oh, well, I can sort of kind of get Winky back. <laughs> it just looks so silly. There we go. <laughs> it's like Yoshi in a way. Okay, careful. Oh, I said careful. Ah, oh, poopers. <laughs> well, it has served me well. This was kind of what I wanted Winky for over there to get those. Well, it's possible to get it with. Ooh! Really skilled ugh, rolling jumps! <laughs> but I'm not. Okay, I was gonna say I'm not feeling that confident. But I manage it. I manage it. <sighs> but I just realized I missed a secret. Huh. What did I miss? Um, let's take a peek see here. Boop. Maybe I will not blow you guys up with this. I'll just kind of carry this along with me. See what I missed. What could I have missed? Who knows what I could have missed? Maybe it's a secret wall? Maybe it's... Yeah, I was up there before. And I was up at that bonus area at the beginning. Hmm. Hmm. I forgot offhand, actually. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and always carry a barrel, just in case. Especially with Diddy, because Diddy holds it in front of him. You can just kind of pop open walls by mistake sometimes. I think it was this one. Yeah! Green ones are two one-ups. Oh, yeah! And I do believe in this game there's also a blue variety. Uh, that has, a, it's a three-up type thing. So, yeah, I think that's all of them. It is! Alright, so with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I continue my trek through the DK Isles. Well, just one aisle. <laughs>